I've lost Vicky. Good morning. There she is. It's Monday, the Eight. 8th of April. Hello. 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 Uh, we're at Dublin Connolly, and today we're going to be ticking off the final stations in the Republic of Ireland and heading over the border into Northern Ireland, where I've never been before. You've never been to Belfast. No. Okay. No. Very exciting. Welcome to all the stations. <laughs> This morning, I have a breakfast that we're one, three, two stations in, so that's exactly two thirds out of the 198. It's fairly straightforward today, we're literally heading north uh, all the way. If we were going from Dublin to Belfast as quickly as possible, we'd take the Enterprise train, but being all the stations, we have to stop at all the stations. So, we're taking a stopper up to Malahide, and then I think a stopper uh, up to Drogheda, and then we've got a chain, you get a stopper to Dundalk, and then a stopper to Newry, and then eventually. At Newry, we'll then get uh, the stopping train, and interestingly, we have to get one of two evening services on Northern Ireland Translink that stop at Scarva. I think it might be Points Points Pass, but I probably pronounced it correctly. And we'll end up in Belfast tonight. So it's amazing who you meet on the trains. <laughs> Last week, we met Kieran at the uh, Irish Railway Record Society, and we've got to ask you, Kieran, what. Uh, what is the reason behind having a five foot three gauge? Could you tell us? Okay, so the situation with the gauge is similar to what uh, British Railways were experiencing at the time of uh, Railway Mania. You had different companies deciding on different gauges and the government were concerned that the connectivity you know, wasn't going to happen. So the first railway to be built in Ireland <laughs> was built to the standard English gauge, four foot eight and a half, is that correct? Yeah. That was between uh, Dublin and Kingstown. But as time went on, other companies decided on different gauges. The Ulster Railway had, seven, what was it, Jeff, what was it seven feet or something? You're I can't, I, you're, you actually asked me yourself, <laughs> actually, but okay. I think it, it was seven, seven, seven foot yeah, Exactly, it was seven foot. So um, the gauge recommendation, as they were similarly doing in Britain, uh, they appointed this chap from, I think, the Board of Trade, uh, Major General Parley, to come over speak to the engineers in Ireland and try and find a compromise gauge and he basically split the difference. He went halfway between the widest gauge and the narrowest gauge and that's how we end with, with five foot three inches. Vicky, can you tell the extra difference? Did you notice there was like an extra six, six inches? Um, I'm, no. <laughs> like visually, yes, you can see that it's wider, but in terms of like your travel experience, I would say... No. No. Thanks, Kieran. No worries, no worries. I, I might get slated if that's totally incorrect, but like, that's... Kieran, Kieran no, you're in luck. YouTube hardly ever points out when you're wrong. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> so, RTE here, here. Say hello, Eleanor. What's it like being on camera? And also, Not I want nice. to say, Kevin, no. Kevin. Not. No. Yes. Yes. No, I don't. I don't want your surname. I just, just checking. That I could remember your first name. Oh right. And he's from Irish Railways, yeah. just to make sure that we're not misbehaving. How are we doing so far? Very, very well behaved. Kevin, what's this? This is the Fairview Dark Depot. Is this where the dart trains sleep at night? It's where they sleep, where they get cleaned and fixed up. And they have this their little, their... they have their little dart dreams. Absolutely. This is their home, and they got a bed inside. So yeah, they're nice and happy in there. This map is so old. It's needs updating. Clon Griffith is a new station and it's not on there. So we'd actually done all the stuff up to Hope Hel Junction last week. And now, what, so it's Clon Griffith, Port Marnock, and then Malahide, right? Okay. And then I think we pick up the commuter service from there. But we've got an hour in Malahide where Kevin and Eleanor say that there's a castle, Vicky. So I don't know. It's time for a Vicky Explorer. Would you be interested in that? Yeah. Okay. Wait, it's a Malahide. Yes. We've got an hour until our commuter train. Yes. Do you want to go and get a quick shot of the castle? Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> yes to all those things. So the 
lovely Eleanor from RTE and Kevin from uh, Erin Road Erin said the castle's lovely, should only take you 12 minutes to get there. I'm on my way! Isn't it just beautiful? This is Malahide Castle. Uh, originally the fortress here would have been made out of wood and then later it was rebuilt in stone with over the centuries more and more apartments and buildings being added to the complex. The land here at Malahide was gifted to the Talbot family by King Henry II for services to the crown. It is said that Malahide Castle is one of the most haunted castles in Ireland. to Balbriggan. It's right by the seaside. Yay. By seaside I mean the water. A nice lady called Cathal on the spreadsheet has pointed out like a hundred things, maybe not hundred, uh, <laughs> to do in Balbriggan. Yes. Your mission Vicky is oh. to get like ten shots of amazing things in Balbriggan. Okay. And we'll squeeze it down to like 20 seconds, two seconds of each. Okay. I can, can only you do see this? one. What's that? The lighthouse. It's a big station. Just a big station. So we'll have a little look around here yep. for an hour. Okay. And then carry on. Can it include a cup of tea? Yes. We just have to do some admin, like eat. Central <laughs> so, administration. Central in. Uh, where are we? Uh, Drogheda, thank Drogheda. you. But the Boyne Viaduct over there. It's quite impressive. It's a brand new kind of train. Which means... Which means we're heading into Northern Ireland. It's purple! No, what you actually meant was it means new maquette. Yeah, that's what I meant. It's available. Maquette reaction. Maquette reaction. Purple. Like it. Like it. Uh, simple, plain.
Welcome to Northern Ireland. Nuri, Northern Ireland. Hello. On, a, on the Enterprise. Which is purple. A, a loco hauled train. There is, there's no Irish on the... Oh no, there is. There is. There's still some Irish. You can pay in pounds too. You can pay in pounds. And as we came through on the motorway, I saw a Royal Mail van. New maquette. So there's a third new maquette of today. It's the trifecta. Well, what was the first one? The first one was the Enterprise. What was the second one? The shuttle bus. Oh, that doesn't count. Why doesn't it count? It's not a train. Oh. So second new maquette of today. Transway, Northern Ireland. Newry, heading for Belfast. I like how the that pan of maquette's different uh, colour on the headrest to the rest of the body. It was scheduled to leave at 18.50 and it left at exactly 18.50 and zero seconds. I, I mean, it was bang on to the second. That's pretty, that's good work, good work right? and Translink in general. Do you ever read that story about the Japanese train? The Japanese company had to apologise because the train left 20 seconds early and everybody, like, complained. What well on Translink, your first train was exactly on time, which I love. Penultimate awkward station. It's points bath. This train is for Bangor. The next station is Scarva. Penultimate awkward station. Tick. It's a big moment. This is the last awkward station. This is Scarva. Hello, Scarva. In all your awkwardness, Vic is getting a picture. That's our delightful guy, conductor. You get it? I got it. Can you give Scarva yeah, the but... biggest tick ever? Tick. On board this evening, YouTube sensations Jeff and Vicky, who are currently embarking on a whistle stop tour of all 198 railway stations in Ireland, north and south are on board and we'd like to wish them well in completing this over the next couple of days. Uh, you can check out their progress on YouTube by searching all the stations of interest. That's all the stations on YouTube and again we wish them all the luck in the world uh, completing this over the next couple of days. Thank you. Amazing! <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> We, we didn't ask for that, that's funny. <laughs> See Irish Rail, where was our PA? Translink, got it covered. I've upset Irish Rail now, haven't I? <laughs> we won't be left with that Uh, we just had selfies taken with our conductor uh, who kissed me. <laughs> I got one too. From the conductor or the driver? Yeah. And the driver was awesome. I think his name is Ian. Ian. Thank you, Ian. Top man. We're at Belfast, Great Victoria Street. The train is leaving. Hello, Belfast. Hello, Northern Ireland. We are in you. We are here. For the next uh, two days. Yes. All the stations. All of them. Turning out.
and obviously we did Tara Street. Oh yeah, we did. Did we, we did. forget to mention did we, that? Sorry, did we, did we not mention that? Uh. We totally did Tara Street. Tara Street. <laughs>